If you're using a DigiGrid DLS or DLI with a Pro Tools HD native system, then make sure that the switches on the back of your unit are both set to I.O. And the DLS or DLI needs to be connected either directly to the AVID card or to a DigiLink enabled I.O. in the expansion port. Now open your DAW and from this selection window, make sure that the box for HD native is ticked and all others are unticked. Then click OK. Uncheck the box that says Don't Ask Again if you'd like to choose between modes each time you launch Pro Tools. Once your DAW is open, select your AVID card as your playback engine. You need to reserve channels from your IOs for Studio Rack IO inserts. This is done from SoundGrid Studio in this setup window. Heading back over to Pro Tools, let's click on the IO setup. Set or confirm the names of your insert paths while you're in here so you know which ones to access, then press OK. Your DigiGrid DLS or DLI will be identified as 192 digital units in this window. Open an I.O. insert with the associated 192 digital path as set up earlier in the I.O. setup. Next, open the I.O. insert drop-down menu in Studio Rack HD. Select the same name insert as chosen on the track in Pro Tools. Please note that since HD Native bypasses all plugins during recording, all plugins within Studio Rack will be dealt with in exactly the same way.